what's up everybody this your boy mr miller reporting live from the basement of miller's corner sponsored by you know where i'm from little rock kicks on deck today we're gonna be talking about three out of the five air maxes that dropped a little bit over a month ago i've been kind of holding on to these and waiting for the right opportunity to kind of rock them and spacing my stuff out uh and decided to go ahead and talk about three out of the five uh that i picked up that i think were pretty good pickups to keep it going so let's get into it here we go. First, we're going to be talking about the Tokyo Maze. Um, this one was made by Yutu Yakuman. I apologize if I jacked that name up. But it was designed more or less like the, the subways and, you know, kind of just the subways around, you know, where he's from. Um, but it's kind of like an endless maze. And, of course, there goes the name Tokyo Maze. But it's a really dope shoe. Some of the highlights of the actual shoe is that... It comes with patches for the actual tongue, which I think were amazing to do for the actual shoe. Um, and I thought it was a dope concept for it to kind of make it a, you know, a really stand out shoe when it comes to the whole five that was dropped. Uh, I do love the, also the fact that it's uh, one, basically one shoe that's white. And then there's one shoe that's black. <laughs> Great. Love it. I kind of like it. So it was kind of cool. Uh, I haven't undead stocked these yet. Uh, still got still got the factory laces on there. Haven't decided which patches and laces I'm gonna throw in there. But look to be posting those this weekend. So uh, these are the token made. These are the main ones I really wanted out of the collection, uh, and I'm glad I really secured. Big shout out to Nike because that boy get your boy exclusive access to these. So uh, come on, let's do it. Yes, the Nike Air Max 97 London. What is it called? London of Love? I'm um, sorry. London Summer of Love. I apologize. By Miss Jasmine. These are really cool. I, these were my third on the list to hit for the Air Max Day. They kind of really didn't happen. Um, I think it's a really cool shoe. Very. It's got that summer vibe to it that really kind of stands out. You can rock it with damn near anything, any color to make any one of the colors, such as the blue, the green, and the, uh, the bright neon to the orange uh, are a couple colors that kind of stand out about the shoe. That kind of makes it, you know, I see where it's got that summer love. Uh, it was, the concept was based on uh, a place where she went in London that kind of reminded her when she looked out at, at, at her city. And these kind of, she, she was inspired by that. And I, I definitely feel the love on these. These are really cool. I actually picked my wife up a pair of these too. So we look for us to be twinning pretty soon on the ground. So a uh, big shout out to her. I really do like this shoe. But this was third on my list. Not knocking her or not saying it wasn't a good shoe. It was just third uh, on my list. My Tokyo Maze was number one. But here's my number two. So tell me what you think. Yes. Man, let's talk about this shoe. The 97 Neon, Neon Soul uh, was one that I really was just like, man, it kind of gave me that that off-white look at first when I first saw it. And I was like, no, I didn't get the off. I, that's one of the off-whites I don't have. Um, and I was like, man, I kind of I kind of like this vibe. But I like the fact that it's a black shoe. It, it glow, It's got that 3M on it. Which I think is amazing, uh, and the one thing I didn't get, I didn't probably get a chance to shoot was the actual sole on the actual tongue, which is really dope. Uh, as you see, I kind of took the uh, I took the white, I took the black laces out, kind of give it a little bit more flavor, and you know, put the put the white laces in. I had a set of uh, off white laces that I had just lingering around, uh, and uh, I went ahead and put those in there. Uh, I shot these last week. Uh, check my page out. See what, tell me what you think. But these are really cool as well. I love a 97. Uh, it's probably one of my first Air Maxes I fell in love with. So big shout outs uh, to um, Guang Shin that actually designed this shoe. Uh, I thought it was really cool about you know how he, it was inspired by his neon lights and everything. So I think he did a really good job on this shoe. Um, so I'm glad that he actually got it. So. Tell me what you think about it. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think, which was your best uh, best one you got or one you should have probably picked up. So. so with that being said, those are my three out of the five Air Maxes that dropped over a little bit over a month ago that I mean, really can't wait to rock uh, this weekend. 
Thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. Hope y'all enjoyed the show as, as always. And I'm coming back every at least once or twice a week with something. Look for my next interview to be what y'all have been waiting for. The kids. Yes, Kate and Kingsley will make their first appearance on Miller's Corner down in the basement. And they'll be talking about some of the shoes they got coming in. Uh, and they, they, they want to rock some of their favorite kicks. So enjoy. Pray for me. Because that's going to be fun editing that and shooting that. So, yo, once again, this is Mr. Miller reporting live from the basement for Miller's Corner. Sponsored by Little Rock Kicks on Deck. Your boy. Uh, I'll see y'all next episode.